Okay, so let's quickly run through my latest haul. Um, I think I said in my last vlog that uh, my comic book guy had just recently got in um, a few long boxes that he um, bought off someone with a bunch of 80s and 90s comics in, which I'd had a bit of a rifle throw. And then again, the weekend after, um, I had another look just to check and managed to, I don't know how I missed these, uh, but um, picked up some more. So nothing truly exciting as such, nothing um, bronzy or silvery, unfortunately, this time. But we start with a number one, Excalibur, um, with um, the Captain Britain, Megan, um, Shadowcat, Nightcrawler and um, Rachel team up set in the good old Britland yes in um, the UK <sighs> filling in some gaps on my X Factor so X Factor 4 number 7 number 17 Uncanny X-Men, again, filling in gaps, 201, 206, 208, 210, 211, whoops, 220, as you can see, I've still two bag and board these. Um, 223. 224. Um, X-Men, issue 7. Now, it was strange, not only a couple of weeks ago, Custom Bromstar, Scott, was talking about Elric, Michael Moorcock's Elric, and I've... Uh, that was the first time I'd seen them, um, what he'd shown, and I was like, oh yeah, I'd be really, really interested in that. And lo and behold, what do I find from first comics? Um, a limited series, um, The Sailor on the Seas of Fate by um, Roy Thomas, Michael Gilbert and George Freeman. Managed to find the first two issues of that seven issue limited series so I'll be looking out for um, more of those. Uh, Secret Origins starring my favourite supernatural character the Spectre and Deadman. Um, some more Daredevil 245, 248, 260 305, 317, 318, 319. And finally, I've looked for this so long and finally found it. Um, the only missing issue of the first volume of the new Avengers and um, that I hadn't got issue 17 so that completes the run the Bendis um, run that came right after um, Avengers disassembled and all the books started again um, yes for someone who doesn't really like the Avengers I had to complete that series <laughs> Okay, so here's another quick haul. Um, this was an eBay win. Um, comic book character called Grendel. Um, as far as I can, I know, uh, it started off in um, Comico and uh, ran for quite a while. And then uh, Dark Horse Comics uh, took on the character and kind of spun it out and did lots of kind of mini maxi series. But this was kind of the main um, original run of Grendel. Um, I've got a few of the earlier ones already, but this was a nice... Um, a nice run from issue 13. They're all 
quite good there's there's one with a cover unfortunately um away from the actual book but um there were si about 60 comics in total i paid about 12 pounds for all of them so that's including like postage and packaging um uh grendel created by matt wagner um and i think he pretty much has had his hand in every single um kind of incarnation of grendel because he, he's used very differently um especially in dark horse um there there's a lot of variations on the on the character and what he represented um some of these um covers are just quite quite weird and and freaky shoot 20 25 oh, unfortunately this is the one with the um, the cover torn off but oh well 27 28 29 a nice gruesome wound there issue 30 was quite the gruesome um comic lots of kind of blood and guts and violence um there's the old parental guidance suggested um especially on on the comico um run of grendel 35 Um, that was the run of Grendel. This was tagged on the back. I don't know how this character fits in um, to the whole Grendel universe. I obviously have to read it. Um, it was a, a three-issue collector series called Silverback, done by Matt Wagner as well. Um, I'm pres uh, well. I presume it's a character that was introduced within the Grendel universe. I'll have to look into that, and maybe um, it just got a kind of short spin-off series of its own. So that was the Comico run, and then these, I, I didn't put these in kind of chronological order, but um, you'll have seen my Grendel War Child, um, it was a, a 10 issue kind of maxi series, but I didn't have issues 1 and 2, so um, there's issue 1, great Bisley cover there, and there's issue 2, Grendel War Child on Dark Horse Comics. Then we have Grendel Tales. They kind of came out in like maybe four to six issue mini series um, under the Grendel titles banner. And this one's Four Devils, One Hell. With two. Number three. Whoops. Number four. Number five. <laughs> Great cover there. Number six. Um, here we go with a three issue um, Grendel's Tale mini series called Homecoming. And issue three. And then under the Grendel Tales, um, The Devil in Our Midst five issue mini series. I think this is the final one. This is Grendel Black, White and Red. Um, can see from, I'll just show you a bit of the artwork inside, um, black and white and then you get 
I don't know if you can see that, but there are red splashes in there as well. So that's where the black, white, and red title comes from. Um, number two. Number three. And finally, number four. So that was my Grendel eBay haul. Hauls just keep coming this month. Um, I promise this is the final one. Um, I quickly jumped into the kind of antique store, kind of flea market type place um, on the way home today and um, managed to find um, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, issue three. Uh, Frank Miller, John Romita Jr. Um, yeah, it was basically a bunch of Daredevil titles. So I've got 201. 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, help me, help me, <laughs> 210, 211, 213, and finally, 2.14. And I promise that's it for the hauls now.